This video will try to present a possible workaround for reversing offset dimensions. For any other type of dimension, SOLIDWARE has a pretty nice solution. So allow me just to add a dimension between these two parallel lines. One inch maybe. And as you know, with the dimension selected in the property manager of the dimension, you have this reverse direction button, which works nice. Also, you can select the dimension and just add the minus sign in front of it. And it's going to reverse the dimension. Uh, let's see what's happening when you try to create an offset. So I'm going to select this chain of entities and I'm just going to add a one inch offset there. Now when I'm selecting the dimension, as you can see, there is no reverse dimension button. Also, if you try to put a minus sign in front of it, you're going to get an error. So you cannot do that. Fortunately, there is a nice workaround for that. With the dimension selected, just go to the other tab in the property manager of the dimension, turn it to driven. And now, as you can see, the offset entities are no longer fully defined. You can drag them in. The dimension is going to follow because it's a reference dimension. Just go back to the other tab and turn it to a driving dimension. Now I can edit it. So it's going to be one. And as you can see, we're able to reverse the offset. There is a problem though, when you try to do the same thing by, instead of offsetting sketch entities, you want to offset edges, that is not gonna work. So just to prove that, I'm gonna offset these edges. And now if you try to make this dimension driven, the offset entities remain fully defined, you cannot drag them. But other than that, just remember, you can use this technique in order to reverse offset dimensions for entities that are being uh, offset from existing sketch entities, not from existing faces or edges. Thank you.